Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Sue Tech here. It's 3.25 p.m. on Sunday, the 28th, and I wanted to talk about Electronium today. Electronium has run into a few problems over the past few days. Really not problems, but it's just some some news, okay? Some information um, that people put out on Reddit about coding, about the Monero blockchain code and things like that. And it created a lot of FUD. The Electronium chat room on Telegram was just like off the hook. You know, people were making crazy threats, <clears throat> saying a lot of crazy stuff. I'm not going to repeat it, but um, they were acting crazy. And I think it prompted Electronium to actually respond to this message. And, <clears throat> and, uh, It seems like they, they took heed or or they were kind of forced to respond. So uh, basically what Electronium is saying through Richard Ells is he's, he's giving a recap of the entire, you know, list of accomplishments, which are very true. Okay. 750,000 account holders, um, big market cap, 300 k 300,000 Android apps, mobile mining's in beta, all right? iOS app is on its way. We have the hit BTC, we have Next Exchange, uh, mobile partnerships, um, Titanium, which is not a direct, it's not directly tied to Electronium, but at the same time, it is. It's just not, you know, it's not stated that it is but um, without a doubt titanium will be the web services for electronium moving forward but anyway so he just talks about um, some of the problems hiccups they've run into and and here's the big one that was talked about on reddit Monero block 20 202,162 very simple two line fix that we're aware of so basically it's just patchwork and this is something that the entire electronium community was bugging out because of or at least the telegram chat now this is a good statement it's not you know it's not news but as a great reinforcer to calm the nerves of a lot of the noob investors out there All right, and that brings me to my next topic and it's the quote unquote noob investors unsophisticated investors that are buying into a lot of these coins and have no idea how investing works or no idea what investing is and I hope it's not the downfall of a lot of the coins because noob investors are just as much of a of a a cancer to the cryptocurrency and a danger to the cryptocurrency community as scammers are because noob investors will panic sell on any news what like any kind of news that comes out they will panic sell okay that has more a lot of danger in and of itself panic selling and driving a, uh, a coin down because with the you know cryptocurrencies are not they're becoming more regulated all right they're elements of regulation in cryptocurrency now but for the most part it's unregulated and so if the noob investors are not disciplined enough to handle panic situations bad news or rumors then they actually put all of our money in danger 
at least in the in the short term you know if you're if you're savvy enough you can just sell off and buy back at an even cheaper price but panic sends ripples throughout the community and the financial world and it, 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 and even if you're able to buy back in at a lesser level at a cheaper price it still has an effect at least a, a psychological effect on people who might want to buy into a coin or trade a coin so i'm not really sure what to do about noob investors except for um, they have to get experience. Maybe that's the antidote. Time. Time and experience. But if you're a noob investor, you have to learn some technical analysis. When the stock market goes through a crash, guess what? They shut it down to prevent losses. So cryptocurrency does not have that type of situation where they're going to shut down the market so there's even a bigger responsibility on investors and traders in the cryptocurrency world because you can either um, stop the market from stop a sell-off by not participating or you can really demolish a coin if you want to and you start panic selling so, you know, panic selling didn't happen with Electronium, but the people in the Telegram were just ridiculously unruly, uh, making death threats, doing all kinds of weird stuff. And, you know, that, that people see that type of behavior, and they see noob investors and a lot of weirdos and, and crazy people acting like that they won't want to even get involved they might just leave crypto alone so that type of behavior hurts the entire market so what I'm saying is treat cryptocurrency like you would any stock Forex like you would any professional broker all right, if you're going into a, a Telegram and you're talking to people or you're talking to admins crazy, talk to them like you would talk to your stockbroker if you were in their office and you were, you had, you were, you were, you know, talking out your plans or what you wanted to do. You have to treat it exactly like that because it essentially is the same thing. So, if you come in with the crazy incendiary attitude that, you know, this is a scam and you're making threats against admins and you're saying, you know, just creating a bad environment, which this is what he's, he's talking about down here is, uh, the negative vibes to quote him. If you have questions, ask questions. If you have concerns, talk to the support, but just don't go around talking crazy, making threats. It's just stupid, and it hurts everybody involved. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have more updates later on. Um, we're going to talk about, about Profit Trailer, more about it. And I have some ICOs that I'm going to reveal very soon. I'm just doing a lot of homework, doing my background on these ICOs, checking out their teams, and I will share them with you guys very soon. All right, take care. Have a great Sunday. I'll talk to you later. Peace.